All right, so this is problem 1.3 out of Griffith's quantum mechanics textbook. Before I get started and work through this problem, please give the video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to suggest a problem, you can do so by following me on Twitter at Physics Helping. So problem 1.3 out of Griffith's, we're considering this Gaussian distribution, and part A tells us to find capital A. So the way that we do that, the way that we do that is we say, well, are from and it gives us the equation here 1.16 1.16 says the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of i'm not quite sure if that's our row but we'll call it row equals one okay so plugging that in we have a the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity e to the minus lambda x minus a squared dx equals 1. We're going to try to get this into an um, integral that you can find on just a standard integral table, and we'll do that by doing a u substitution. And the u substitution is letting mu equal x minus a. Of course, du then is just equal to dx, and the bounds of integration do not change u at negative infinity is still negative infinity, and u at infinity is still infinity. So we have a times the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity. Then what do we have? Well, we have our e. We still have a minus lambda there, u squared du equals 1. And then this is a standard integral, so I'm just going to solve this really quick. I'm gonna to try to make these videos a little bit faster. Uh, I notice most people do not watch most of the video. So I'm assuming you guys want me to move a little faster, which I'll do. That's part A. So for part B, we need to find the expectation value of x, x squared, and then sigma. So I'm gonna move again as fast as I can through this. So the expectation value of x, all we have to do here is essentially do equation 1.17. So that is going to be this equation. The expectation value of x is just x. I'm not sure if that's supposed to just be p of x or rho of x. We'll call it rho. It's the probability density. Um, there we go. So this is the integral from minus infinity to positive infinity. X a e to the minus lambda. X minus a squared dx. Okay. And then, of course, what we can do here is we can factor out our a. Okay. And... Once we factor out our a, we can also use our substitution here. So we can use the same substitution as before, and then just note, so same u sub. So if I, if I go here, right, you can see that x is equal to u plus a. So you have u plus a, and then you still have e to the minus lambda u squared du, none of that changes. So from here, I guess I'll do maybe one last little step. u e to the minus lambda u squared du plus a e to the minus lambda u squared du. This one we just did. This one, you can integrate that by parts. That seems to be the best way to do that. And when you work this out, I'm gonna skip this step just because it seems that people want the answers a little less drawn out. When you work out the integral, which I'm confident you can do, you, can do, you get A. And then to find the expectation value of X squared, well, it's really exactly what we did before. The only difference is instead of multiplying our function by x, now we're multiplying it by 
x squared. Okay. And then you can kind of imagine what we're going to do here. Uh, there's really no difference. The only thing to keep in mind is if x equals u plus a, x squared is u squared plus 2au plus a squared. So you're going to follow essentially the same process as before, but now you're going to get three integrals because there's going to be three terms from the x squared. And by the way, if you guys would prefer me to go back to working these out in more detail, I can do that as well. This is just from what I noticed um, after looking at some of the analytics. So I'm just going to write this out. I expanded the x squared. But I do think this is pretty easy. You distribute as before. We know what a is, so you can always plug that in. And if you do that, what you end up getting is a squared plus 1 over 2 lambda. And then to find sigma, sigma is x squared expectation value minus the expectation value of x squared. Okay, so that's just going to be a squared plus 1 over 2 lambda minus a squared, obviously 1 over 2 lambda is your sigma. Okay, and then for the last part, part C, it wants us to sketch our probability density. So let's do that really quick. So this is going to look like, uh, so this is the probability density, this is x. We know it's going to look like some sort of distribution. So let's just do uh, this. That's kind of what a bell curve looks like. And we know from the expectation value, we calculated the expectation value in part A, we saw that, or part B, we saw that the answer was A. Let's do it actually in blue here. So this peak here will be at x equals x equals a. And that's the probability distribution. So hopefully that makes sense. I try to go faster in this video and not like work out the integrals in too much detail. If you'd like more detail, then please let me know in the comments and I'll do that in the future.